Pustepausen Podcast. Now, today I work for a startup, a crypto startup. Mm. Uh, so it's a crypto wallet. Okay. Uh, which With which you can basically manage your uh, crypto assets. Yeah. Um, so before that, with the same guys that I mentioned before, like mm. uh, 10 years ago, uh, mm. I started to work with them and we actually, like they build this like a design agency um, and slowly over time we were just building lots of websites and uh, mm. app designs and things like that then they started focusing on healthcare a lot mm. more so we were like designing applications for uh, healthcare uh, clients like uh, big like bigger companies working in healthcare but just yeah. because I think it was just more money more uh, okay. lucrative yeah. better thing to do mm. um, yeah and now, yeah, like I just recently started working with this crypto startup. So, um, a crypto startup is a, is there a new crypto currency or is it uh, just no? What so do you mean by that? It, yeah, it kind of is related to that, uh, uh. but it's I don't know if you're familiar with Bitcoin and Ethereum. Yeah, Bitcoin, yeah. So Ethereum is another uh, yeah big I've one. I've heard about that one as well. But Ethereum has problems with like scaling in general like so like you have to like if you want to send money you have to pay a lot of gas you know mm. like which is the transaction fee especially when it gets really busy like i don't know you want to spend like 40 dollars like mm. worth of cryptocurrency mm. you end up paying like maybe 20 dollars you know of gas which is like wow so it's like why yeah. would normal people start using it you yeah. know yeah so like uh, i think when they designed ethereum they didn't think through these things no, properly okay. And so now uh, there are different other blockchains that are mm. building on top of Ethereum, and those are called layer two, uh, I guess, like solutions in general. So okay. uh, we work, we started just focusing on one which is called Starknet, ah. which is the layer two solution to Ethereum, which basically makes everything way faster and way cheaper and mm. uses mm. Ethereum. Uh, hmm. to validate all the transactions and things like that i mean i don't want to like say too much technical stuff because i'm also just a designer yeah really, yeah, you yeah, know? So yeah i know that there are like uh, really smart people working on the team who develop hmm. all the you know uh the actual you know like back end and everything hmm. it's like really complex they more more detail yeah like so they could yeah. obviously explain so much more like yeah, they listen to this but who the hell is this guy yeah, right like <laughs> yeah geeking into yeah, this yeah but if they yeah. would explain i don't think yeah. anyone would like know what you're talking yeah. about yeah. yeah yeah so but in any case i think like a lot of blockchains they need a wallet like mm. uh, because different blockchains use different codes smart contracts you know mm. all this sort of stuff and it's like different systems in general mm. um and so like the startup that i work with um focuses on just this one blockchain uh which is very new it doesn't even have its own token it doesn't have its own currency uh wink wink I guess. <laughs> oh. like, uh, so i believe in it like yeah. it's uh, i think it's a very promising technology because it is it is indeed based on a technology that has it's been in development for a few years and silent i mean now a lot of people try to take advantage i think of it like calling mm. it um sort of using it as a buzzword i guess or like to catch other users you know mm. like okay so i'm just asking for a friend do you recommend to buying some shares in this company <laughs> <already>? <laughs> yeah. um, i was just uh, yeah. wondering <laughs> well i mean yeah, it's really um, a hard uh, one. He to owns eighty percent <laughs> of the shares. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you're like still in the like the you're still in the like building the you're not well, what do you call it like um <laughs> yeah we're developing it so it's the product isn't finished yet so there's nothing to it, like no it's functioning it's working oh, it is functioning. you can download it it's called okay. Argent Argent yeah. Yeah. and that's an app it's an app so we have a mobile app. Mm. And there mm. is also browser extension and there is a web wallet. A web wallet, which is like something that uh, developers and dApps can integrate into their, mm. uh, you know, login or like basically as a seamless way to use their dApp. Mm. Dapp, yeah. I don't know if you know, if you're familiar, like decentralized app. I've heard about it. Dapp is yeah. basically like a, a thing that works on blockchain, like you DeFi and everything. Mm. But it, this is a world that's new for me. And yeah, I know very little yeah, about so the the Yeah, I don't know a lot of things. And, uh, yeah. yeah. But it's fascinating to hear when you're yeah. talking about it. Yeah, uh, it's a big, it's a very, very, very big world in general. Once yeah. you start going deeper into it, yeah. like, 
um and that's the thing like if you start going into it you need a wallet to use so of course and uh, every like new ecosystem like you know mm. um you start using ethereum you need like mm. a, a wallet that where you can 